Hi, Ann. Hi, Todd. I'm so glad we have a few minutes to catch up today. 2021 is well underway, and it's going to be a really big year here at the Ronald McDonald House. Yeah, it really is. And I'm glad we're touching base too. You know, the time is flying by. I can't believe that it's already mid-February. I know. I think the last time we saw each other in person was back at the groundbreaking for the Laddish Co. Foundation Center back in October. Yeah, I mean, you're right. And that was, what, four months ago. And I think that was the last time we actually even saw each other in person too, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. And, and you know, and you know, as convenient as it is for us to keep up to speed, you know, through these Zoom meetings, you know, I think it was great to get out and see some of you uh, from the RMHC staff, you know, our friends from Rogers, our friends from Laddish Company Foundation. And speaking of which, I was excited when I heard that the committee chose to honor Laddish Co. Foundation with the 2021 PHOS Award. I agree, Todd. Not only have they been a great supporter of our Ronald McDonald House over many, many years, but now they're a major supporter for the new center being built out at Rogers Behavioral Health in Oconomowoc. Yeah, and I mean, it was four months ago when we were there for the groundbreaking and mm -hmm. things are really moving along there with the family room. I think the center opens in July and that's going to be here before we know it. It will be, and we're really busy here picking out the final finishes, including looking at carpet samples. This afternoon, we'll be looking at some furniture. We really want to make this family room feel separate and distinct and feel like a family room at your or my house. So we want it to be comfortable and really welcoming to all the families there who can use this area to get some hospitality and just relax. Yeah, and I, I think that's great. And I think it's great that we're expanding our mission like that. So, you know, truly things that we can be proud of. And, you know, speaking of that, though, I also uh, want to give kudos to you and your team for the presentation that you gave to the board about the upcoming house expansion. I think it really covered all the bases. And I think we all agree, too, that, you know, the Imagine theme for the fundraising campaign is really inspiring. And we're really excited to imagine what this new wing means for the families that are calling our house home. I am too. I thought that presentation was great as well. And our development team and others put a lot of thought into making sure that we could correctly get the message out of how important this expansion will be, especially by adding new long-term rooms, which will help families who need to stay at the Ronald McDonald House for at least 60 days, but sometimes many more days than that. Yeah, I mean, the expansion is going to be great. You know, I love what it does for you know, our current families and you know, the, the additional opportunities they'll have to survive our long, cold winters, which we're, we're experiencing right now. But I'm also you know, really impressed with the thought that went into planning. You know, we're going to have 14 new long-term guest rooms, and I think that's just a wonderful addition for the house. It will be, and we were really thoughtful about it and reached out to some of our past long-term guest families to get their feedback because their feedback is so important so we can make sure that we have those rooms set up and functioning the best we can for those long-term families, many of which have a lot of medical equipment. They have multiple family members all supporting the patient at the hospital. In fact, last summer, we had five families that were in our long-term wing and they checked out and their total number of night stays was over 1,400. So when you think about what a long-term room here at the Ronald McDonald House means to these families, it, it is significant. Yeah, wow. I mean, those are um, you know, some big numbers that people have to go through. So it's really a great reminder about why we do what we do. And you know, I think it's also a great reminder that you know, we're doing this, you know, in the face of a, a global pandemic. And I really wanted to, you know, let you know again how much I am uh, give thanks to our dedicated staff and keeping the house open through all of this, you know, our volunteers, you know, and on top of that, the generous friends and community, you know, the, as, as a whole, you know, the support that we've had has just been spectacular. It has been. I'm so grateful for the staff that we have here that every day, came to the Ronald McDonald House during the pandemic, not really knowing what they'd have to do to help support and keep our house operating. I'm also really grateful, Todd, to you as our board chair and the entire board and our community that has been just so supportive of our Ronald McDonald House. So it's really just you know exciting to see both the family room project and the expansion now 
coming to life. And I love to imagine what this Ronald McDonald House will feel like even next year when we have the, you know, the new program and the new wing open. So thanks, Todd. It was just really great catching up with you. Yeah, same with you, Anne. And you know, as I always say, it's all about the mission. So thanks for what, what you're doing and what everyone else is. So have a great day. Yeah, you too, Todd. Bye. Bye.